Okay, we'll call the Forestville Town Board monthly meeting to order on Monday, December 19th at 6.30. Roll call, please. Roy Engelbert. Here. Larry Huber. Present. Jason Kahatch. Here. Dina Schmidt. Here. I'm Ruth Kirscher. And also present, Kevin Gillett, Ken Pavlich, and Lauren Eaker. Thank you. Has the agenda been properly noted? Yes, it has. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have the agenda in front of you. Motion be in order to approve the agenda. I make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll second that. Motion made to approve the agenda. Uh, only one change. We will be moving okay. item number 10 up right after number six. Brought that information. Okay. Any further okay. changes that I don't have? Okay. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Right. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. On uh, November 21st, we had the budget hearing at 6.30, mm -hmm. minutes for those, and also we had the general monthly meeting a few minutes after. Yeah. And I looked that over, uh, find no errors or omissions or problems, so I would make a motion that we accept those minutes as Ruth provided them. I second that. Motion made to leave the minutes. Any other changes or comments? No. Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, motion is carried. Next, we'll have the financial report. In the cemetery checking, we have $86.58. The cemetery perpetual care, we have $11,332.45. Cemetery savings, we have $1,993.34. Town checking, we have $1,334.82. The money market, we have $179,891.85. The LGIP general, we have $10,485.36. And the ARPA, we have $111,823.14. Sounds different than the $205,000. <laughs> we said, and we've got a couple of outstanding uh, yes. accounts receivable. They, one of them is from last month. Um, well, she they paid part of it. I see. Um, they paid like the first part that came, they got charged for the installment, but the culvert wasn't on it yet. Ah, okay. So now this is the culvert part of it. This is the culvert part of it. Yes. Right? So they should, hopefully we'll get something this month. Yeah. And that's a current one on the deal. Yeah. And there's one culvert that's to be charged yet as soon as we, they get the bill into the highway department to me. There's one more person that has purchased a culvert from us. Yeah. Bro, you had asked about that one. Check I that found one. It, yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, uh, yeah. She had rented the hall in November and rather than wait till December, we sent the check. Yeah. 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 Right. The right. refund back. Right. Right. Nothing else I make a motion we accept the treasurer's report. I'll second that. Motion made to accept the treasurer's report. Any further comments? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. All right. Those motions carried. Public comments. Do we have anybody online that has public comments, Larry? Do you have anybody notice? Uh, no. Nobody online? I don't believe. I think we are the only participants. We are the only participants. Okay. Kevin, do you have a public comment? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Lauren, you're, you'll you get it a little later on then. Okay. We'll hear from you. Very good. Okay. Yes, you will. <laughs> okay. Hearing none, uh, we'll close the public comments and let's move to broadband information update. Well, how it started is that uh, we sent our letter out. Everybody got the 1126 letters were in the mail, and I received zero contacts from anyone, anyone about broadband and high speed internet service for everyone, none whatsoever. So then Mr. Pavich called me last week. He said, Roy, you might want to consider doing something. So, Ken, why don't you sit, sit up here and tell us what we should be doing or could be doing? Sure. <laughs> I'll sit off to the side so you can kind of see. Don't worry, this camera will follow you. Okay. <laughs> well, here's, here's some handouts to, to kind of for the board to okay. kind of go through. 
Okay. So really, I guess more than anything, um, just wanted to touch base with the board. We've been kind of, as you know, the county has a broadband coordinator, so we're trying to work with all the townships and municipalities mm -hmm. to talk about broadband. And we have pretty much all the all the communities now pretty much organized, uh, except for you guys. Yeah. So we'd like to see if we can help work with you to kind of get organized and start having some of those discussions. I think there's some opportunities um, that are going on that's worthwhile at least to have some more further discussions. Obviously, one is Claybanks has selected uh, for buy, uh, preferred, uh, let's say vendor would be the way to say it, but preferred buyer, buyer okay. right? And also, the swap, he's gone through that process. And as you're aware, I asked Roy, I don't know if he reached out to John, but I asked uh, Bug right now is working as a three townships together just to do some research and get some background going. Um, and they're planning to put out, um, if you look at the steps, the third one down is putting together like they call it an archive. Really, what that's called is just a request for information. Um, so that way you can actually see what the providers are doing. So I guess the one thing I suggested to Roy was to talk with John Cook to see if they'd be interested in, in allowing you to also participate in that process. Again, to me, the <clears throat> there's some opportunities when you work together on this type of a project for savings. And yet, when you do that RFI, for example, you still have the ability to kind of decide which way you want to go or you're going to work together or not, or you know, take advantage of some of those opportunities. Also, in, in talking with Roy, uh, like you said, I know you didn't get any responses back. So I know there are some towns where the town board is trying to take that on. And I guess behind the scenes, we've been trying to help out a little bit more in terms of walking through those steps. But I guess we'd make the same offer to you that we try to help in trying to walk through those steps. Obviously, there's still some work that um, the board would have to do, or you know, hopefully, you could find a committee could roll up their sleeves and actually identify stuff. Um, I think the biggest thing right now would just be in terms of you know putting out that RFI and getting that back in. But then also, too, there's some stuff you can do up front. Um, we provided maps, or we can get new maps to you just verifying addresses, locations, that kind of thing. That'd be really helpful in trying to narrow down that scope. Um, again, I'm not trying to rush through, but I'm also trying to be con uh, time conscious. But I'm not sure how much you know, but it's really, um, it's one of those things that we're trying to explain to a lot of the communities that it's really not going to, there was some thinking that it's just going to happen anyways, and the providers will provide it. And it is, that's not going to be the case. You really need to be proactive in trying to make it happen within your township. You're trying to build that partnership and also look for those opportunities for grants or other opportunities to do either financing for the project or bringing that forward. And the biggest thing too is also just doing a lot of education. A lot of people don't understand why we're trying to do this or why they have to pay for the service or why, you know, you know, in the past century tell or I'm not sure who's your formal coverage of that. That's called bright speed. Oh, bright speed. So, you know, bright speed, your wine day is going to upgrade our systems and make it happen for us, you know. It's not going to happen that way. Unfortunately, it's, it's changed in terms of how that's all coming together and how the providers are working with communities. So it's really up to the town board to try to hopefully facilitate that and try to get to the church and try to move the project forward. So we had a presentation. Who was that? Bertrand. 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 Yeah, they came in and did a presentation to ours. Um, and we're, what we're trying to do is get our arms around all the pieces, yep. but the issue is uh, what has been, what has, I've learned through this process, if we don't have a real champion who's going out and standing up for that thing, it's not going to happen very easily. Mm -hmm. And we're uh, a rural community in that it's pretty much agriculture yep. and business just isn't here. Uh, and that's where a real big benefit is. Yeah. And, I, I would agree with you. The only thing I'd, I'd say is that it's, uh, especially the internet providers is is big for egg um, and a lot of things that they do and provide, but also too, it's very big for the home long-term and especially if there's families that are here. Absolutely. So Absolutely. very, very important. I mean, CenturyLink is, or Brightspeed, Speed. has very little actual high speed in here. I agree. Very little. But what they have is just enough for them to get it. Yep, you're connected. Mm -hmm. And 90% of our community is not connected. And I, I don't really know how we how we move forward in that regard. Now, 
I've been to the presentations you had at the yep. ADRC, yep. Um, and I'm involved in this stuff all the time personally. But on the other side of the coin, there's so much going on with these other communities. Maybe it would be a benefit. We have other things that are going to be happening here big time with our fire department issues and all that. Mm -hmm. um, so the board itself is going to be digging into a lot of things that makes it, oh, and we should also be doing fire with the pharmacists everywhere. Um, I don't, I personally find that too much to throw on the town board, quite frankly. Um, I don't know, I'm speaking for myself. I'll let you guys talk. <laughs> well, here's what, uh, Larry, here's what Brussels sent us in their letter. I don't know, Brussels sent this out for the survey, and they just sent that out to their people. Unfortunately, they got very few responses back on it. They also they also attached this regular survey <laughs> deal too. They got well, but we also put that stuff out there. We've had it on our website. Yeah. We put the thing into the mailing with the tax bills, and you don't get a whale of a lot of response. Mm -hmm. So, so this, that was the type that they sent out and. Mm -hmm. So uh, now, Brussels Union and Gardner, that's the fire, that's the three organizations. Uh, fortunately, they have a man, that former board, uh, town board chair and former county board chair, county board supervisor. He uh, got put upon himself to do the work for the three of them. So they went out and uh, they got the list. Oh, that was the hardest. Retiring? Or that <laughs> member, they got they got a list of all the IP providers, yep. and and that uh, that's the IP providers in this area. Right. So they contacted them, right? And so they uh, said, "Okay, here's the people. Uh, this is I never seen this before. These are the contact people. These are the, these are IP ISP providers in Door County that can serve Door County, and." Uh, so they have put out a request to, and they got four responses back so far. But let me back up a little bit. They uh, had a meeting. They have a group together now. They have a meeting. They had a meeting, and they put together what is needed to talk about the IS. What we talked about providers. What is needed? Mm -hmm. Now I contacted our our Jason Rower, who lives in our township. And I asked him if he could participate in these meetings. He said he would, but he's been a little bit he's on the busy side. Uh, his boss keeps him busy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, but he'll 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 help us and participate in this. But this is but they ass assessment criteria. What I found out is that when we're talking to a ISP, we have to include all of the townships, uh, all of the miles in our township, not just the 45.59, they have to include the highway, 42, and the county roads. County roads. That when we talk about how many miles we have in our township. Now, with the town of Brussels, we share, uh, um, we share about a mile and a half is what we share. Some on county road B and on school drive is where we share. We had, we would share that. So there's, there's a, uh, there, there's an aid in sharing with that. So I have contacted uh, Joe Wower, Joe Watier, who is the town chair in Brussels. Contacted John Cook, talked to him a couple of times today already. And there is a meeting coming up on January 9th. That they're going to be having a meeting, and we're invited to attend. And I there's a meeting on January 9th at six o'clock and opening the meeting and guest participants of the town of Forcel board members possibly wish to join our collaborative joint committee. And they're going to be, this is the whole thing that they're going to be talking about on January 9th. If you think it's a good idea to do it, we would need all three of us there on January 9th at six o'clock. Uh, they're open to having us join them, but they already have they already have gone to a piece of the report, and uh, and then they've gone to the next thing they're going to do is put an RFP out. That's the next next thing that they're going to be doing. 
if that's you've done a lot of good groundwork on that. Well, uh, John Cook really got dug into this. He, he that's did. what you need. Yeah, somebody who can do that. He dug into this, and they, so he worked with Jessica Hatt to get the list of the ISPs, and uh, he dug into this, and uh, uh, and so. So then the next meeting after this January 9th meeting is a meeting on January 16th on a Monday. And unfortunately, the 16th is also the same day as our town board meeting. We would have to move our town board meeting. So on January 9th, if we as a town decide to go with this group and, uh, and they allow us to go with them uh, for the for, for the things, uh, that we'd have to definitely be at the 16th meeting. I'd like, I want to ask a very pointed question. You are, you, you filed papers for non candidacy for the church. Yep. You're retired. Yep. This. Yep. You're still in the county board. Yep. That's great. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing if we, I, I think this is a great idea, if we could join up with them? I think it is too. If you could and get, uh, this other fellow from the county uh -huh. between the two of you get started down this path. Yeah, I, I mean, I would go to these meetings. Yeah. But I need to know, would you be willing to work with him at to this, go for that? At this time, I can work real good with John Cook. Yeah. We conversed quite a bit over the years. I make a motion we appoint you as chairman for well, that's, that's good. <laughs> let's, go, let's go to the next meeting. Let's the way Larry works. Get it let's done. Let's figure it out. Let's get it done. Let's go to this meeting first. Okay. Right. I think January that's January. Right. Okay, I'm open. We don't need a motion for this. This is just our informational. <laughs> oh, we have I think the biggest thing is, again, I think that's. You're, you're, in my mind, there's two ways of looking at it. You're a little bit behind, but to me, if you join up with the group, we're not behind. You, you would not be behind, and there's some right. stuff you could do behind the scenes. And that's where Jessica can come in, and with, if you get Jason involved, I think you'd be in a great spot to at least look at that. And, you're, and the best thing about it is you're not committing anything. No, no. You're just committing to trying to get information and costs. Correct. And then that way you guys have a path going forward. And then, believe it or not, I think once people start to hear some of the numbers, because it's going to be expensive, right? Yeah. So you look at and, and that maybe something that you're going to pay for for 20 years, but that when, when it hits their pocketbook and they understand that, they're going to, they're going to react. They literally so, find out what they get right. for, and yeah. what the cost per drop is. Yep. Yep. And that's where the benefit really is at. You know? uh, I have no, no dispute. I mean, uh, I'm all in favor. As soon as you can get that fire to my house, great. Yep. But on the other side of the coin, I need to know who's going to be able to put forth all of the effort. We've got roads to rebuild, we've got fire department issues, we've got a lot of things on our plate for the next coming couple of years. But that's where we can help. I guess that's what I'm saying. Right. Oh, I guess I know and, Roy, yeah. Roy and Jason would do that stuff behind the scenes and we could help supplement that. I mean, we can kind of help you get there. So Now, the other thing is that the town of Union said, okay, you don't want three people making the decision to Make this kind of expenditure, so they recommended that we do a re they do a referendum. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good idea. We would have to have that information by January twentieth to the county clerk with the referendum mm -hmm. to be put on the ballot for our April election. So that well, then we may have another special meeting then. If if we're going to go well, if, if you go, it's if, if you go to the January 9th meeting. And then you go, you decide you're going to the 16th. The, after the 16th, you can make that. Our meeting will be right after the 16th. You yep. can mm -hmm. make that. Yep. Yep. Decide that, that you can still get it in by the 20th. Yes, sir. Or, or 25th yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. So well, that would be good. See, we did a referendum with the garbage. Yeah, and we, we had over 70% people saying we should. And then that's an expense. Yeah. Yep. And so yep. if, if uh, uh -huh. and that, that's what union is proposing. And to uh, do for the April meeting. Well, there you go, Roy. See, I knew you could figure this thing out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we are. So the town, the three people of us, uh, yeah, Ruth, you can come too. Uh, you know, you know, get out there. All invited to. Uh, it's an open meeting. They're all invited to the ninth January ninth meeting. There's no lunch, so <laughs> have to eat before we get there. Six o'clock meeting. Six o'clock before we go. We eat before we go. Oh, there you go. Well, thank you for the time. Well, thank, thank you for coming out yeah, again. Appreciate well, it. One more, Ken, one more thing before yeah, yeah. you leave. Uh, I looked at this map of where broadband coverage 
And we're at 100% in most of Wisconsin, including Door County. Yes, that's, yeah, that's I tried going on the site. I can't get on there to make any. Sure. Who's, who's going to fill that out? Who's going to fill? Yes. Who's going to tell that Door see? County is not 100%? Jessica's working on that, but the way, I'll just be honest with you, the way they, the way they have that done in the short timeline, is that it's up to like an individual to try to report it, but it's such so I mean, you have to get into it, I think, by January 6th. Well, I it's it's not possible. I, I tried twice to get in. I yeah. can't get I can't get in. It, it, it says it's for municipalities. It's not, no, it says for state and counties. Yeah. We're I mean we're trying to do as much as we can at our level, but it's impossible to get all of our responses in. So but we're working on it. So another thing, another question. What is E911? That's emergency. That's yep. 911 that That's our call center. That's our call center. I said, John asked, okay, I said, does we have a list from E911? Your E911? Is, is that all of our people that for our township? That yes. So we'll, we'll provide that to you. We actually, at the one thing, we have a series of maps. And what we do, we call it our address mapping, but that's also all the address mapping that's within the E911 center, too. So right. we have that. Well, we can give that to you on a map. And that's what we ask for one of the assignments is to kind of go through and make sure that we have all the places identified, you know, some like areas we have private roads, that type of thing. But oh, well, we, we, we can actually have that information. We, we, we have, we provided it. Too. Yeah, we, we have that information down pat. We have 466 that's all we need to know. Yep. people that live in houses that have a septic system. Yep. That's the kind of stuff we need to verify. With. Yeah. Yep. And then Okay, you're having Yep, we'll pop it up there. Okay, very good. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, you better come to court. You leave it open. It's an open door. I got it. I got it. There you go. That's good. Okay, so that's what I was on the phone on Friday and on today about. Well, thank you, Roy. I did not realize any of this. Oh, yeah. You know, well, I, I, we had some well but uh, I couldn't converse with you because that would be violate the open meeting law. I, I just can't. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Southern North <laughs> Fire Department. Oh, my God, that we're going to be here all night. Okay. <laughs> Lauren. No, maybe not all night. Okay. What's new? What's new? Our last meeting was December 14th at the North Station. We seated the new director from the Colin Asa Lobby. Okay. Dave Holzen, H O L Z E M. H O L Z E M. We'll be finishing out the. Uh, yeah. Holzen. Again. Then we'll be finishing out the term until this fire department thing is figured out. Oh. <clears throat> and the treasurer, the treasurer reported in our check account $10,429.36. The Nicolay money market account, $241,042.82. The capital credit union uh, money market slash CD. Fifty thousand three ninety five and fourteen cents. The ISDA financial annuity one hundred one thousand nine hundred twenty six and thirty nine cents for a grand total of four hundred three thousand seven hundred ninety three and seventy one cents. That number. The chief <clears throat> chief's report. The chief reported fire calls, nine fire calls, November 10th, at 649 County D of mutual aid to Bunk Fire Department. This is the, the fire in County D, the um oh, blank. Hey, County D yeah. near, near, near Culver. Yeah, right across the line. Yeah. Right, right. Um, to a bunk for a fire on the exterior of a building. We were the first on scene. We beat the uh, bunk fire department to the, to the scene, um, knocked the fire down, and prevented the spread of the fire, and then turned the, the control over to, to bug. November 12th, um, 723 Elias and Road at the water's edge. A car in the water 
The vehicle was found partially submerged, unoccupied. So one of the firemen donned, donned a suit and we pulled the uh, the vehicle to the edge of the water. So obviously someone didn't didn't know the road ended right there and drove into the bay in the middle of the night. So November 17th, the uh, 560 state, state Highway 42, two vehicle accident with traffic control and roadway cleanup. November 18th, County S, just north of County J's, over by the Olson Farm, semi in a ditch, no injuries, and we provided traffic control. So, very windy, a snowy patch, and the semi uh, caught the wind. The wind caught the back of the semi and jackknife. November 22nd, State Highway 57 and Stone Road, a two vehicle accident, patient care, traffic control, and roadway cleanup. Very, very popular. One of our two most popular sites, Highway 57 and Stone Road, and Highway 57 and Reynards, yeah. is a very two of our popular spots for accidents. November 25th, 6571 Wilton Road, possible mercury spill. Found the source, contacted Sturge Bay Fire Department for assistance with cleanup. Mm. Years ago, carburetors, car carburetors were tuned with some kind of mercury Ooh. device. And this thing was up in the rafters of the basement and it started leaking. It had been up there for many, many years. And the uh, the homeowner didn't, didn't know how to clean it up. So we and we we didn't have the the supplies or the kits to clean up, so we contacted Surgeon Bay for cleanup. So a Ziploc bag and a coffee can, and the homeowner took the uh, contents to the, I think, Brown County um, mm. uh, uh, waste. Uh, it's hazmat. Hazmat, hazmat waste place, sure. yes. Right. Sure. Um, November 30th, 7421 Elms Road, possible propane leak, use detectors to find no propane or no carbon monoxide left uh, left the homeowner with uh, a new carbon monoxide detector. November 30th, uh, 2221 Lake Street, Mavis Call, to Oklahoma Fire Department, structure fire canceled en route. November 30th to end 3070 Angle Road, Mavis Call to Kiwani, structure fire, two tenders for water supply. During that same time period, there were 21 EMR calls. So that's nine fire calls and 21 EMR calls. And his notes training for December is air packs and ropes. We also have ordered new, new air packs, new air bottles through Honeywell. The order, order has been placed. Emergency networking software, software is now operational. The chief is becoming comfortable with his system with the system and will train assistants to help the current um, firemen. The software is becoming extinct, so we, we hired a new a new provider, provider to to do all that. Low staff points have been posted at both stations, along with um, I believe I forget what the numbers were. Um, all the, all the firemen have been, been informed of what their low set payments will be for the year. Egan Cannell has stepped down from the fire department. We thank him for his service to the community. He's not in the area no more. We, we I think I heard somewhere he's in Alaska or something. Mm -hmm. The defibrillators and cabinets were received from the, the uh, defibs for Door County program. So there'll be one defib and one uh, at post at each station. Are they going to put those at all public uh, locations? You could apply for, oh, for a free deep in. Okay. So, so we, we did, and we, we got one for each station. We wanted some. We wanted two more, one for each each truck that goes out. But so far, we've only received two. Okay. Did they? Uh, did you? Did you get a copy of those all set points by chance? I. Or, or, or I, could, I suppose I could reach out to the chief and get them from him. I, I can I can send you them. Oh, okay, that'd be great. The, the, the set point, the yep. numbers you would you would have got a check route to sign do from Chuck, or is that coming? No. Yet? Maybe that's coming yet. I believe that's a time. I just got something from the fire department today. It might be the two percent dues. Uh, that's what I'm wondering if it's two percent dues. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. get you the the moment then receiving yeah, the set points. I I have okay. it. I don't have that. I don't have All that. Right. I don't have that. All right. Thank you. Long Fire Department asked us to stand by January 14th at the station two for their while they had their Christmas party. 
And the picnic date is July 29th, 2023, next summer. <clears throat> All right. Um, in the firefighter input section of the our meeting, Kim Starr was asking why we are still working with the firemen from the from the North Station that are forming the department. Some some believe that um, we should no longer be cooperating with them. You have to break them away. Well, absolutely not. You should be. Absolutely not. Right. You should be. I mean, yeah. because you're they're going to still be a fire department until September. Until September. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. And then you know, and who knows? You know. So he was asking that. He was also asking that. He was. He wasn't making that. He was. He was asking that. The people forming, forming the new Nassau department, that they not meet at our station, at the North Station, and Jeff SP has has cleared it up that they meet at the town hall, and yes, after the meeting, after their meeting of forming their department, yes, they went over to the fire department. So Jeff SP cleared that up. Well, okay. there's still one fire department. There's yeah, there's still one fire department. But they were they're having meetings forming their own fire department, and some think it's. Not right that they would be using our facilities. Well, they, they, there's a town hall. You're in the yeah, same building, right? So that was that was clear up. Okay. And Chuck Sealar said ten new pagers have been ordered. All other matters. Um, Claybanks is looking to fill the empty board spot vacated by the deceased um, Troy Hicks. They're still looking for someone to fill his spot. The, at their meeting, they have a couple names have come up. And they're going to approach two people to see if they're interested in, in filling Troy Hicks' spot on the board. And I also did supply Chairman Johnson with a, another name. Um, in the apparatus appraisal, um, Roy, you're giving me a name. Yeah. Jim Austin. Yep. He has declined. He did okay. He has declined their, uh, any offer to. To uh, either he's too busy or, or I'm speculating. He just he just has respectfully declined. Not is to he an appraiser? He's some okay. sort. Yeah, he he works. Well, that's with, that new new guy. He, he's right. Like new business, right? Yes, he works. In, he's a lot of Hamilton, and he, he works with fire departments actually. Uh, and so I thought he he when I contacted him, he said well, I'd be in. Let, let me think about it. So then I gave Lauren the right. name. I sent him a nice email and, and so and it was, explaining what's going on, and he he's. Set back a short note, re respectfully declining, we, declining at this time. We still need someone to give appraisal as far as the Southern Door Fire Department's position, because as of today, the North Station has not obtained anybody to appraise that equipment right. yet. Right. So right. Uh, the Southern Door the Fire Department needs to get that. Get that done. We need to find someone to, uh, uh, to yeah, yeah, to that, that, a, a truck, a truck's all the way to the equipment. That's right, right, that's right. right. The that's firemen right. are meeting tomorrow night and go and doing a, an inventory of the North Station contents mm -hmm. of what needs to be appraised. They are meeting tomorrow night and okay. we'll have a list ready. Okay, um, but we're still looking into finding a firm or someone to uh to do an appraisal because right now it's a figure from up here. You know, yeah. <laughs> so there's yeah. no figures around yet. Right. So we're still working on that. Um, in the in the hire of mutual uh, municipal attorney matter, um, Roy, did you see the Matt's Matt's return comments? Yes. <laughs> you, did he look favorable to you as far as from? Uh, you had two. You had one attorney and this guy that I said. Right. For that one? for that part, you know. Um, but also his his comments back were that this probably needs to be a, a attorney needs to be hired by the towns. Yep. You know, that was that was his his right. his uh, mm -hmm. two cents worth on that. Mm -hmm. Now so, just Matt Parmentier. Parmentier, yeah. That's the fellow we worked with, with yeah. uh yeah. when we were dealing with that. And, mm -hmm. and, and it was brought up at our meeting, you know, that that if the fire department hires an attorney for this, it could be a conflict of interest. Because we would be using funds paid to the department from Nassauapi to fight mm -hmm. them yeah. against them. 
So that's that's well, uh, it, it's it, not a fight as much as it's an organizational process. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, well, we like to fight for a few items, possibly yet, you know. Yeah, you know, you know, negotiation, right? Yeah. So we, we really, you know, that's that's got conflict of interest there. So okay. we are gonna <laughs> urge you to have some meetings mm -hmm. get together with, with Chairman Johnson and have, have and you the talked to any of the other uh, municipalities? No, no. Just uh, talk to uh, Claybanks, yes, but we're agreeing to Mike? get get together after the first year. Okay, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what we have talked about. Yeah, that's where that's okay. where we stand right now. Right. So at your meeting, you know, get some some questions ready mm -hmm. for if you want to hire hire this uh, this attorney from Dempsey. That that's. Yeah. He's he's good and he knows municipal law well. Okay. Um and then just uh, future future items. Uh we need to redo our committee assignments. You know, we have a couple couple new board members and we should go, we should uh, the policy committee should get together and possibly start redoing our bylaws for for the possible split here mm -hmm. in, in September. Mm -hmm. And um that should be voted. Uh, I saw Chuck fly yesterday. <clears throat> yes, he looks great. Okay, he has lost 30 pounds. He's happy, he walks great, talks great. He's he, you know, it was a little scary for him. Yes. Chuck yes. fly happy, yes, <laughs> yes. I got his pipe clean. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a nice battle scar there. Cool. Yeah. That's how that works. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, uh. I got it on both sides. So. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> that was that's good news. That's good news. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Thank well, thank you, Lauren. I got a quick question though. They're gonna they're gonna do an assessment on the vehicles in the building. Is, is that what they're gonna do? Is this gonna be like just just them or can no? Both should do it. That Max Lobby has that done already. Oh, they did that. Already. They have okay. the trucks all the way down to the fireman's gear to okay. all the everything everything, all everything in the the, the, the the north station that can be. Mm -hmm. Lauren, uh, multiple hose, hoses to the right, bags, right. to boots, to gloves, or whatever. They, the gas probably has that done already. Right. Right. Okay. I, I don't know if they did it that closely. All I heard so far it was just an air figure so far. So that's why we need to do do our own seven door. Yes. Like I said, we did the, we did the station. Yes, but just the facility. Yeah. Right. Right. So we have that done. Right. I don't know if that's something that like so. Would you, if I could go in and just be there when they're doing that? Well, you you you've touched more of the equipment than I have, yeah. and so you would be you you were on the board. You 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 don't understand right. the case better. You'd represent at least the machine, at least the. I like the, I like the, the gear. Take along running, with that. Running running the, what time do they do? Six o'clock tomorrow night. Six o'clock tomorrow night. All right. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Our station. Our station. station. Okay. Good. Yeah. Appreciate that, Jason. Good. Okay. Anything else, Lauren? I don't think so. Thanks for coming. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, great. Great. Okay, moving on to the sanitary district report. Anything from the no, sanitary no, district? Nothing to report. And Larry, cemetery, you have one burial? Yeah. And then we also have, um, I think we have a pending sale coming up real soon. Okay. Once okay. I get the paperwork together, I okay. got a sale. <laughs> okay. So one, one lot or two? Four. Four. Wow. I'm going big time. Okay. Oh, yeah. it it may, <laughs> may not handle this well after the first of the year, but it's coming. Okay, good. Right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Larry and I attended the Mariah Goods meeting on yes. public education discussing on planning and zoning issues. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting uh, from standpoint that uh the resource planning committee hears conditional use requests. Mm -hmm. The resource planning committee is made up of county board supervisors. It's five of them. It's on a state statute. And it's comes before that board as any a request for a conditional use. In other words, it's in a given zoning area, if it's P, meaning it's permitted, you don't have to have a hearing or you don't have to have come before the resource planning committee. But if it's a C, that means it's permitted with a conditional use permit. Now, a conditional use permit might 
require certain requirements that person needs to do in order to build that building in that spot or that business in that spot. Most likely it's screening, most likely it's setbacks, uh, setbacks make sure the setbacks are right, and the size and, and that stuff. So that's a state statute requirement from the, and that's called the, the resource planning committee that works with the, the planning and zoning department. The other thing that's in the county that we have is a board of adjustment. That is also a state statute committee, and it's made up of seven local county citizens. Doesn't have they don't have they're they're appointed by the board county board. These seven people. So if an individual is not satisfied with a decision that the resource planning committee makes, they can go and appeal that before the board of adjustments. The other way the board of adjustment gets involved is if it's they, if it's they want to make a variance on the setbacks. In other words, the setbacks on a town road is 50 feet and the county road is 75 feet. So if there's or it's a setback from a neighboring lot line is 50 feet. So if and they, there's fees involved in this. So if they if it's anything to do with a lines of a lot. That goes before the resource planning committee. We just recently, on December 13th, we had a three lots off of Highway 42, just mm -hmm. outside of Maplewood. And you saw that notice mm -hmm. that they want to reconfigure these three lots. That went before the resource planning committee. The lot, they were going to keep the same lots, but you're just giving the different dimensions on them. And that had to go before the resource. And that provided, they didn't really change anything. They're not buildable. No. It just makes access on that road. That's correct. That's correct. So that's the two standing committees that is to help with our resource planning. Now, a little, little case in point, we as a town board, and a, when a citizen goes in front of the resource planning committee for a conditional use permit, and the town board opposes that, we can stop that process completely by passing a resolution. And this is just a simple resolution. The, uh, for instance, in Sebastopol Township, they don't want any more storage units <laughs> or storage units that are near highways that, you know, they they have opposing that. And they have a full staff planning department. Remember that Sebastopol is a much larger township than us. So all they did want this one uh, resolution, they passed this resolution and it had to be done uh, it could be before the planning commission meets or no later than 10 days after the public hearing and if they if the town passed this the resource planning commission has no choice but to deny that that request and that's but that's got to be done in advance no it you can have 10 days afterwards after the but period. i'm saying this resolution resolution, resolution. yeah you know. now there's a review period that we have as a town mm -hmm. for those petitions, condition be, use before, correct? Yes, yeah, it's okay. supposed to be 28 days, right? You're supposed to have, but sometimes you know, we get there was some question about that, at the yeah, beginning yeah, 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 that came yeah, up, yeah, yeah. So, that's those are the two things that involve us. Uh, you know, the, the we have very few requests before right. the resource mm -hmm. planning right. committee. The first, the last one I remember is a lot on south of Forceville mm -hmm. that uh, was denied and then Forceville and annexed that one. So. Right. And they're going to have another meeting in January. Yeah, end of January. End of January, basically, to go over how they're using their online work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, yeah. I'm curious about that one as well. So yeah. I'll plan on it. So that's what we learned. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the American Rescue Plan. Ruth, I, I'm sorry, but I couldn't get a hold of Jeff Dorner today. I called him first thing at 8 o'clock this morning. Left message on. I do not know the status or if I have to write this one. Okay. I'm curious. Um, Rescue plan, uh, ARPA money. We 
asked for the lost revenue, we filed it that way. Mm -hmm. Do we have to continue to report on that? Or is it for everything has got to be spent by 2024? Right. The report has to be in by April, the end of April 2023. Every okay. year we have to yes. report. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think then the final one would be in 2024 of April. And any unexpended funds? Goes back. We therefore have to spend that money. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometime mm -hmm. in the next mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. now. Okay. My my question was with regard to for specifically the computer that the town owns for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your system is old. Mm -hmm. So and am I. No, I... Adina, <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know what you're using. You're using your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And both of them mm -hmm. are working now in that QuickBooks world. Yeah. And now we've added all of this electronic... Mm -hmm. Digital services to our mm -hmm. website, and we don't have. I do have a question though. Current equipment. There was $150, I think, that came in from somewhere. Did you? Which $150? Oh, I didn't see that. I was yeah. I dreaming that? <laughs> was it $150? Um, Which $150? <laughs> yeah, was on the, I think it was on the bank account, but it. it Yes, that's what I'm thinking. But it doesn't say what it is or what it came for. And I don't remember. Well, if you can get specific to me. Um, yeah, I'll, I can I'll check at, through. Because I got no email or anything telling me that there I was something I can there. check through. Hey, God, if nobody made any reservations to the most of my now. Oh, it was yeah, maybe maybe it it? Um, for October. I'll bet yeah. that's what it was. That one that yeah. applied. She applied for um, for the town hall rental, and mm -hmm. she, she was going to pay one hundred and fifty. And did she pay it on online? She was going to. Yes, it was. She may have. So and I bet that's what that is. I didn't look. I did not look at it. Right Here it is, October twenty eighth. Hey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's town hall rental. And what was her? Does it say her name? Oh, oh, I can't think of this. Um, it was a different name. Oh, Chloe. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I did sorry. find out. Sorry. I evidently sure. I did find out because I have. So it she in. did yeah. pay for the town hall rental and the security deposit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And it cost her four dollars twenty six. Yeah. See, now that's okay. paid okay. way ahead to, for October. So because we can remember that next year. Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not, not last year. Yeah. Yes. I have that marked in my phone. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. In any case, this is something we bought with mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. to run the business. Right, no, right. Run this and to do so it. we can take that invoice. This was part of we, we put ready. We right. already did that when oh, we bought that this. Was okay from that first one. Yes. That first yes. one. Okay, that, okay. that was so okay. this and the the monitors mm -hmm. and all of that other stuff. Okay, that was included. Okay. The other thing is. We also have a three-year contract right. with Tongue Web mm -hmm. as well as Hey Gug. Mm -hmm. And we just signed the Hey Gug or the Tongue Web design uh, thing, mm -hmm. but we're well a year and a half already right. into, into, it. into that with uh, Hey Gug. And my perspective on this is that sometime here, we should do a couple of th different things. Mm -hmm. One, I think both of you need to have a capable device, a computer for that work. Your blue dog licenses, you're both working mm -hmm. in QuickBooks. And we really should be at that level of operation. Mm -hmm. This has got a home version of the uh, Windows operating. This should be upgraded to, a, to the uh, professional version. Mm -hmm. And we should probably get a couple of computers mm -hmm. with that monies because the, just the nature of the work that's going on is all moving on to these platforms. And whoever would take over if we would decide right. not to, that, that would go with that. Right, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, so what you're saying there, we didn't, we could should find out more about this, what it costs us, and make a decision. Right. Okay. I, I think I think uh, <clears throat> we can talk 
I, and I, I'd be willing to pursue that yeah. with Quantum mm -hmm. because they're the ones that took care of this stuff. I would like to see us get them up to this up to proper speed. Mm -hmm. Both of those, both of you need to have your machine is old. Mm -hmm. How when did you get that machine? I That's years ago. It's almost eight years. You're on your it's more, yeah. you're you're using Windows 7 yet. No, you're no, not no, no, yeah, 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 you're on but it's yeah. Windows 10 home. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a Windows 10 home. That's just what we got because of at the time mm -hmm. what we were getting. Mm -hmm. well, that's what it was. We upgraded yours to Windows 10, I think. Right. Well, right. In fact, that was about eight years right. ago we upgraded, mm -hmm. but you still have the same machine. Right. Yeah. Right. My God. Plus, I gave her a headset and a microphone mm -hmm. because she couldn't communicate. Right, right. Okay. So that we need an upgrade. Mm -hmm. I personally think you all both ought to have laptops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not unlike yeah. this. Yeah. Do some investigation. Okay. Yeah. Hey, what, about our sighting? Mm -hmm. what about our sighting? <laughs> Here we go. Um, <laughs> I'm still waiting for our sighting out there. Yeah, we still have to decide well, on that too. <laughs> well, that we already committed for a sighting. I, yeah, no, yeah. we still haven't got it yet. Well, well we don't have it's, not, it's yet. here, isn't it? If it's going to look nice, when you get it. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, but I haven't done it. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, that that. Uh, just something I, I'll look into mm -hmm. getting okay. quotes for that. Mm -hmm. uh, could we, could we also like do an advanced upgrade on like the um, KGov and the? Well, we, we can have buy another three years, and I yeah. I had to contact mm -hmm. uh, Dustin and, and find out, mm -hmm. you know, because he did offer that to us when we first signed up, if you recall. Mm -hmm. when we I have that. to look back. It's twenty every April. We have to make the report, right? right. But we have to have the expenditures as of the prior year. At, yes, and uh, so uh, we were hoping to get the siding on, but that would be another complete charge for mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Arbor Fund. And uh, so, but that's you know that what's that eighteen? What was that cost on that for the siding? We we'll still have another twelve thousand yet to pay. Mm -hmm. We have twelve thousand, but still, you know, when we look at Dina's report. We're at hundred eleven thousand mm -hmm. dollars. No, but if we get rid of that, yeah, but that would we'll take care of the road. Yeah, but that would take care of the road. I understand that, but I'm not talking about spending a whole half mile of a road. <laughs> well, I mean, also look at the fact if we get reassessed in the township here, mm -hmm. that money could go towards the assessment cost. That's true yeah. too. So, yeah, but I still think <laughs> no, there's like a half mile of road going yeah. up. <laughs> but I still think <laughs> we need to have. The proper equipment for yeah. oh yeah definitely work. that's that's a must yeah so so you know and what was that uh, you know even the, even three year contract isn't that much money you no know? but um, that, that, that's what we we're figuring on using some of the effort for the second second uh, three yeah, years yeah yeah so, so you think it for next month's meeting you could have that or I'll find out yeah okay it's possible okay. if not maybe February but we'll I'll, I'll right. look into it okay moving on. Okay. We have found out that we need a cabinet for our floating machine. We need a stick here. Yeah. Unfortunately, the town of Portsville has people have access to our storage room more than just Ruth or I. Well, so they have to. <laughs> yeah, that's where our cleaning supply is. Right. So contact the Terry Holler book. He and I met Tom 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 Tom, Tom, Tom Holler book. He and I met here, and we cannot put the cabinet in the closet like we thought. Because we have electric heater there. Mm -hmm. Ah, and well, it, the, in that corner. we'd have to move the electric heater. We don't know if we could do that. So we came back to our original in here. corner, and here's what we're proposing it'll be three quarter inch plywood, it'll be 48 inches high, come this way. And because of the heater, it sticks out here, we'll have um, in the wall here. Put on here because there will there will not be a, a side here and along and there won't be a side in the back. So it'll be you're gonna use the wall as your mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah, okay. So we'll have a 48 inches here. The door is gonna open this way with the lock and the, and the top on. What if you made it large enough to put the owl inside of it? The owl? Yeah. The owl's out of cabin. We have to have the owl. We have to have the. He's locked. Okay. That's our internet <laughs> robber. That's everything. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's all in there. All right. So we have, we, so we, we are going to be getting a fund. We are going to get a grant for this money. 
So the bid is six fifty, and uh, just if that's he's telling you what to do. What you do for the door or for the for the yeah, cabinet? The cabinet yeah. is, uh, if that's got an outlet inside, because doesn't that mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I use yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So how are you going to use that outlet? Then you're going to be. Well, the door will be open. You can open. Oh, um, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I am not that thing gets stuck mm -hmm. out. So this is this grant money. This is this sub grant. This is yeah. not unlike the other one that we had, right? No, this is a separate one. Election. Yeah, but I'm saying it's similar to the sub grant. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So they said it was up to twelve hundred dollars. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we'll get the twelve hundred, and then we can pay the six fifty, and the rest we would have to return because that's all we need. But. Don't you also have to have a computer? But that, the, I don't think that it, the computer, I mean, all the election. Did you apply? Equipment, it, yes. All the. Oh, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I thought when I read it about some of that, there's something about a computer in there. Yeah, but that would be the county is one that does the computer work for uh, the okay. elections. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's the domain. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Yes, uh, they do all the electric. Mm -hmm. This is only to do the voting machine, mm -hmm. basically, mm -hmm. to, to keep up the care. Yes. Yeah. And change carpet. Yeah, see the all the hardware and everything comes from the county. So if, you're, if you think that's the way to go, do you want to approve this? I make a motion that we get this cabinet underway. Okay, I second that. With mm -hmm. the money. Any further, the the yep. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say goodbye. Saying aye. Aye. Both motion is carried. Garbage and recycle review. I had to make a decision to uh, how much November would be and uh, December would be, and I based it on what October was. I thought was surprised that November was a little bit higher than October. So for the month of uh, November and December, we'll be short $65 uh, from the what we're going to be getting from the customers. Mm -hmm. With not too bad. No, $65 overall? For each month, yeah, we'll be short $65 for November and $65. That was for, a good estimate. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, close. Uh, yeah, I, that's hard it, to... the garbage and fuel surcharge was $1.72, and I estimated at $1.48. Yeah. And uh, my first round was estimating a dollar sixty-two, but it was a dollar seventy-two. So and you and so the actual charge for the month of November for garbage pickup was seventeen ninety-five for the month of November. And we are firm that we got charged the correct amount of a hundred of four hundred and sixty-six people. Okay. On a, it, it verifies with the Excel spreadsheet and also the the charge of the county that that, that done. Okay. That, that's been there. Hey, Gov and website update. I guess Larry, we already discussed that, didn't we? Well, we have to an extent. Um, there's several things that are going on yet. Um, it's now winter, and so we need to get snow on our picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That request is in. Okay. Um, I had another uh, communication with the town web uh, folks with regard to the subscriptions when people subscribe for this service. Now, in the past, uh, we were depending on people to just subscribe, put in their address and, and ask for it. Ruth has a whole list of people who in the past have contacted you for news releases right. to the radio stations, that type of thing. I then talked to the um, town web folk and there is going to be the ability to manage that subscription list. It's not available yet. Therefore, I gave them all the information that you provided with that mailing list. Mm -hmm. They incorporated it for updates so that when Ruth sends me the agenda, I add the Zoom meeting information to it 
And then I post it on the website. And as soon as I post it on the website, it generates a notice that goes out. Now, I, you all should have received that notice. Yeah. Right. I don't. Get his. I don't receive that notice. That's why I was really? thinking. I wonder if the email is wrong or something. I'll find out. Mm -hmm. no, I, I don't receive that yeah. notice. Okay. I will. Uh, and you're the only one that doesn't. You got it. I got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. I you guys are getting them. Mm -hmm. I got it. What email? That notice the, the that agenda notice? that there's been a post oh, yeah. that posting that, to the yeah. website. Mm -hmm. Anytime a notice gets posted, anytime an agenda, boom, mm -hmm. you, get a, mm -hmm. you get an email. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you're not getting I get a text email. message too. So you're getting both. Yeah, I get both. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. so it depends on you know mm -hmm. how text it message. So I will I you get text messages and emails. Mm -hmm. I think I only both. get it emailed. I think I got both. I asked them to check for the next give month. Me that sure. capability mm -hmm. for managing it. It's there, mm -hmm. but it's grayed out. And the last communication I had with them. That That's why I'm able to make it to the meeting ahead of you now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Instead of waiting for Larry's phone call, Jason, there's a meeting tonight. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> but the point being, that hopefully, after the first mm -hmm. of the year, I will have that access to that, so then I can really work with it. No problem. I'm, I'll pursue your. Uh, oh, yeah, I am. Yeah. That's that's, and I'm and the integration of the uh, calendar is better. It's not where it should be yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm still working on it. Okay. okay, moving on to roads, road work. Mark Bigger and son Chris have uh, completed the. $1,600 worth of road of brush cutting, tree cutting, trimming, and all that stuff. So that's done. And so, so far, <laughs> we've spent about $16,000 on trees. Uh, I met with Mark again, and we went around and looked at the trees that we found that were bad on our road review. And he's come up with a, a listing of four thousand dollars estimate. Uh, that estimate to do five maplewood road five willow trees five cottonwood trees three ash trees uh, and the east center road lower glims on willow three cottonwoods and then on north carnet there's glims hanging over the road on north carnet cut those down and i was on and i was on Iowa Wild road today and i'm sh i'm sh looking at one tree when leaning real bad it got a third of people look uh so uh so this is what he proposed. It, it, it won't be done until next year sometime. This one, this, this bid for four thousand dollars, cutting all these trees up. So how long is this bid good for? These bids? Yeah, this bid. Uh, you put a give it to be twelve ten. Uh, I mean, he's always done the work. Yeah. Sure. And even when we've had emergency calls, yeah. if we can beat the county to it. They're cheaper. Yeah, yeah, this is less expensive than the county. Mm -hmm. You got somebody else you want? To... No, I was just I just want to make sure that you know that this doesn't have a time frame. No, no, this is like a, a, asphalt or no, anything like that. Or no, seal coating. No. So. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> and so this is a four thousand dollar yes add on. So we'll have twenty thousand dollars worth of trees in essence. Well, this, well, this will be next year. So this next year, but still, yeah, yeah. And there's there's going to be more trees. There sure is. And I ask, uh, you know, keep looking where we need to. The county has mounted their big circular brush cutter on their four rubber tire unit, and uh, if we need some trimming in the in the dishes, yeah. Then, we need have them come in and brush it. Yeah, usually January. But they cleaned up some of the worst of it. Yeah. So far. Yeah. 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 So if you agree with this, the motion to approve this bid from Mark Krieger for four thousand dollars would be in order. I make that motion to approve the bid from Mark Krieger. Yeah, I'll second that. Motion made to second to approve the bid from Mark Krieger for mm -hmm. cutting these trees down. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carried. And. Uh, Again, you know, we have a lot of brush, you know, right away that needs to be cleaned up. Give me a call if you see any leading trees or something because the, 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 the swim, these ash trees are breaking down. They're breaking in half. In fact, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Amazing. Okay, moving on to payment of bills. 
Well, yeah. if we start with century, century or right, whatever, but it's century telling here, yep. Right spot. Right spot. Oh, oh, 1121. 11, 11, no. Will you start? No, I see. That's this. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted. I also wanted the approval for the four-year notary. And that's. Oh that's yeah. Perfect. I missed that one. Yeah. 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 yeah that's on it's here. it comes due in um in January, the end of January. Is it thirty dollar? Uh, well, the notary application for four years is is twenty, but the insurance or the bond the is bonding. is thirty dollars, and that's a four-year. Premium. Okay. So motion with the well, order. Are, are, are you running for office? Mm -hmm. I signed some papers. I just yeah. want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I make a motion that we remove that. <laughs> okay. So the twenty dollars is for the notary and thirty dollars for the insurance. Yeah. For the bond. Yeah. For the bond. Yeah. Both four year. Okay. I second that. <laughs> motion made to approve the notary renewal and the bond renewal. Yes. All in favor, please say by saying aye. Aye. All right. Opposed, motion carried. It's every four years. I, mm -hmm. thought that was, I thought you had that like. No, that's not a lifetime. No. Okay. I think you can apply for a lifetime now. I Would didn't see that like, on the internet, but really? I don't want, I don't need oh, okay. a lifetime. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your lifetime is over now? <laughs> you end for a lifetime? Or? I just want to call your attention to uh, on the second page the check number 16632 County Door County Clerk voting between expense and services. There's there's three yeah, items that's... in there for thirteen hundred eighty seven dollars. That's our annual cost, isn't it, Ruth? That's yes, uh -huh. yeah, that's, right. that's maintenance and the program. That's for the programming and, and balance, balance everything. Yes, for all the elections. Yes. Yeah. So elections cost us money. You bet. You bet. Right. Now, this uh, scenery maturity bond, that's the one for the. Uh, yeah, for your bond? Yes. Sure. Um, that's that's for, the, for the. Okay. Yeah. For the signature notary. for notary. No, and there's that money in the mm -hmm. town hall that came through uh, the digital services. Okay. Let me make a motion to pay the bill. I second that. Made to pay the bill. Another expense that uh, D, K, D and K fire extinguishers were $23.50. That's very reasonable. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, we have a motion to report to pay the bill. All those in favor, please second by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Announcements. Uh, uh, one announcement we need to be aware of is that we need to have a person qualified for the board of review for 2023. Uh, when is that training? Well, there's actually no training this year. Ooh, really? There's no training in the, the meeting that's coming up. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was going to ask that question because uh, they're having that meeting on Saturday, March 4th. Right. At Manitowoc. Manitowoc. And, uh, uh, is it Manitowoc? Yeah, at the farm, the Scott, yeah. the Discovery Farms. And I would recommend that we mark that on the calendar and that we all should attend because of. Mm -hmm. Which, wait a minute. District, this district meeting, right? Mm hmm. It's February the 11th at the mark in the pier. Yes, we have, okay, we have two of them. That's right, you're right, you're right. We have two of them. February yeah. is easier for me to attend. Yeah, no, that's right, we, we, have, we have two of them. That's right, I just marked one in here. And, I, and that's, that's this one at the mark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Closer. And the other one, yeah, that's closer. Mm -hmm. And that Manitowoc, yeah. Mm -hmm. In Manitowoc. That's well, we usually go to Manitowoc. We went well, to Manitowoc last time. Mm -hmm. We went to Manitowoc last time, but I'm saying this one's in the pier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's off, that's, they say the pier, but it's- really March. Or March 4th. It's on Freedom. It's in Freedom, yeah. But I'm saying, well, I think we all need to get that uh, stuff. Now, they're, but they're not going to offer that 
as uh, part of the training. Well, the, 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 uh, just the what's going to be interesting in here is this, you're going to hear what the WTA is going to be lobbying the for. legislative uh, yeah. agenda is. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and that's what they're going to be talking about. Yeah, but they're also going to be talking about this public land or, you know, commissioner of public lands mm -hmm. monies. No, that, you know, that, yeah, we know generally what it is, yeah. but I think we really have to think about that given where are we going with, you know, mm -hmm. a, a number of issues. We may well have to consider that again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, Broadband is one. Mm -hmm. Roads is one. Mm -hmm. Fire department is one. So at our at our next and our at our next meeting, then we have to decide where we're if we're where we're going where we're going because yeah. you have to have this information into the Wisconsin Town Association ten days prior. Right. So we would have decide, time. Decide in January. Decide yeah, in yeah, January. Put yeah. that on your calendar. Yeah. I'm definitely for the February 11th. Because okay, I know March, too. my March is really booked up. Okay. So, and uh, we had our next town meeting on January 16th. I mentioned earlier that that's conflicting with our going with our broadband meeting in Brussels. So uh, we, we would change it. changes to probably Tuesday the 17th. How does that have oh. any problem with that? Tuesday is that the third Tuesday? That would be the third Tuesday. Yes, the seventh, yes, that should wow. be okay. I don't think we have anything booked for the following day. The seventeenth? No. That was February. Yeah, January. January. January seventeenth, as opposed to the sixteenth. Yeah. Okay. January seventeenth would work for me. It work okay. for everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. okay. So our next meeting date will be Tuesday, January 17, 2023. Okay. So Ruth, uh, will you uh, post that yep. uh, yeah, for the January 9th meeting at Brussels yes. Fire Department? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all members may be present. And January the 9th. 9th. And then we'll have to post again for January 16th. That's two weeks later. Okay. So week later. January 9th. And that's at where is that? Fire Station. Southern Brussels. 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 Oh, fire Brussels. Station. That's the broadband thing. Yeah, yeah, I got it up here. Brussels Fire Station. At six, right? Okay, now that's January sixteenth. January 9th is Monday at six thirty or six. Six o'clock. Okay, I think I have the I have it here too. And and the sixteenth that was at Brussels again on at six o'clock. Okay. And that's for that's for uh, broadband. That's correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. And there will be agenda and everything for that meeting to the sixteenth. But the ninth, you have the agenda now for the ninth. Yeah, that I got mm -hmm. in here. That's the stuff we got. Yeah. This stuff. Mm -hmm. you got it. Yeah. Okay. If there's no further business to be a right. So, so when do you think you can do the meeting in where? Playbanks and build the parcel. We will have to speed the meeting in them, yes. We'll... Before your next month, I mean? Oh, yes. You have to I do that before the 17th, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, if there's no further business to be conducted, you, then. I have a think. Did you look at that? Um, I don't know if you have to. If you... Did you look at that that I sent you? No, I never got the. I never got this. That's why I called. I just got the message. There was no attachment to it. And your email? Yeah, no attachment to it. Yeah. I, I, hmm. Okay. I didn't know you called me to tell me it wasn't there, but. Is that? Oh, this is. Uh, the SNS will apply for a grant, right, Ruth? A feed yes. Or a mm -hmm. grant? Yes. And uh, the grant is coming out of where? Where is this? The Fertilizer Production Expansion Program. Is this this? Uh, it's for the clean water. We had the clean yes. water presentation on Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so what is it? You just need a... Uh, I just need Roy to sign it. Basically to... Saying that the town is okay with, with going ahead. Well, I was quite impressed with that program. That was good. 
It seems to be the direction a lot of the farms are going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. I think there's a, it's got to go that way. It has to. Yeah. Yeah. Even even smaller size farms are starting to go that direction too. If they can get the funding, but that's right. you know, yeah. I should say then, yes, it has cleans up the property when they buy it. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, motion to adjourn would be in order at this time. I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Motion made to adjourn. All those in favor, please signify saying aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody.